What's up, sneaker fam? It's your boy, McFly, the hardest working man in shoe taming today, coming at you again with another real review. If this is your first time over here in Atlanta, McFly, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell and all that good stuff, man, to keep everything rolling. Also, subscribe to the Who Has the Heat Sneaker Bunny channel. Sneaker Bunny. <laughs> Sneaker Battle channel. Sneaker Battle channel. Who Has the Heat? As well as E-Money Shoes and 313 Retro Queen, man. We greatly appreciate it. So today was released Saturday, man. Y'all know the Union Ones dropped today as well as the frozen moment fours and uh that's what we're reviewing today these frozen moments man women's um exclusive here pairs seem to be pretty limited not a lot of pairs around not a lot of people had them in store i'm sure the online numbers were probably pretty high but for the most part this was a fairly limited release uh let me know in the comments how you guys feel about the shoe if you're digging it you're rocking with it uh let me know i always appreciate um, people's opinions me personally i wouldn't cop this shoe but it's not a bad it's not a bad looking shoe at all and with that being said let's begin starting with your outsole here man this is like a sail outsole uh with some little gray hits in it your uh, white jump man logo there coming up to your midsole you see your mug guard still that cell color then you have this gray i think it's light iron ore is what they're calling it it's kind of like a cool gray um somewhere in that in that realm like a cool grayish i wasn't really sure what to expect with the shoe being called frozen moments like they were gonna put maybe the trophy room one spin on it you know with the frozen look or whatnot but this metallic um isn't really bad as you can see this midsole is kind of shiny it's got a little shimmer to it or whatnot coming up here to your toe cap this is what is it this is like a leather material but it kind of feels like patent leather that's that's patent leather oh, am i tripping that's pat that's got to be patent leather so patent leather around this joint and then you have this rough uh textured like new buckish feel up here on the rest of the upper you can see the star of the show is these chromed out um uh it's chromed out aglets i don't know why i couldn't think of that for the life of me i was struggling chromed out here on the side you chromed out across the front. Wrap it around to the back. You got that gray tab with your white Jumpman logo. I think all four should have Nike Air on the back, but it is what it is. Um, same shiny midsole on that medial side, wrapping around. Same hitch. You got some black underneath your netting here, which was a good touch. Got a little disclaimer here, letting you know that um, your accessories here, the chrome, may have some imperfections to look out for that. So Nike said, don't be calling me, complaining. Put that right there for all the people who like to read. There you go, to all my readers. Bam, front of the shoe. You got white laces coming all the way up. Tongue, fire. See the Jumpman logo branded there, clean. Interior, you got a white insole with a black Jumpman. And that's pretty much the shoe, man. Solid, like I said, this was a women's exclusive. It's a very neat, very subtle shoe. Um, back to school kids probably gonna, gonna kill it. You know what I mean? They probably gonna shine, shine, shine. So, bam. There you go, man. Let me know in the comments. Did you cop these? Was you feeling them? Uh, I'm pretty sure homie E-Money got them because he buy every four they ever drop. No matter what it is, he gonna cop it. So, shout out to E. Um, but yeah, as far as fours go on the fit, man, I always say go true to size in your Jordan fours. Comfort's okay. I've got some, I got some fours that are real comfortable. Like my Canyon purple fours are crazy comfortable. But like my Pinnacle snakeskin fours and my pony hair fours, they not that comfortable. So it just kind of depend on the on the four. You know, I've had some that were comfortable, some that ain't. It's really hit or miss. So I give their comfort. I put it in like the B minus range not the most comfortable Jordan or whatnot. It just really depends on the shoe. So B minus on that fit, go true to size. Like I said, let me know, did you copy? How you feeling about them in the comments? And until next time, it's your boy McFly, man. I'll holler at you.